Hello and welcome back to Technic Tutorials, your one-stop guide to learning the Technic Pack. I am Gary and Reba. This time I'm showing you another Red Power Machine. This is the Deployer. And you craft it by placing six cobblestone along each side like that, redstone at the bottom, piston in the middle, and a chest at the top. And it creates the Deployer. It places the same way that the block breaker does, facing you, whichever direction you may be in, and it faces you with this brown panel-like surface. And the deployer is effectively the opposite of the block breaker, but instead of breaking blocks, it deploys things. So, you right-click it, it has this GUI, a 3x3 chest inventory. And in this inventory, you can place things, and then when it receives a redstone signal, it will place them in front of it. So, place dirt in there, it has placed the dirt back in the hole, but it can place things other than blocks. So if I place the water bucket in there, and then give it a signal, it deploys the bucket, leaving an empty bucket in its holder. So I can then apply it again, and it'll take the water back. And this can be used for water, lava, oil, and milk, if you place the deployer next to a cow. It will also place plants. So here I put a sapling in, place it in front, and then bone meal, it will grow the tree. The deployer will also use tools that do not break blocks, for example, the hoe. It has tilled the soil in front of the deployer. This can also be used to shear sheep, however shears added by other mods do not work. One notable thing that the deployer can do is use an empty bucket to extract from a build craft tank. It cannot, however, deploy them back in. One bug is that if it does do this, it extracts it as a water bottle. The order in which the deployer uses items in its inventory is a cross like this. It'll start in the top left corner, move across that line, and then down to the next. So in this case, it will till the soil, and then place the tank. Just like all red power machines, the deployer can be turned using the screwdriver, and it'll cycle through all six of its possible orientations before returning to the first. To remove the deployer, use any kind of pickaxe, and it'll drop its contents as well as itself. If the deployer is using consumables, such as the saplings, it can be fed by pneumatic tubes. These tubes can feed into any face of the deployer except the front. Thank you for watching. If you have any requests, please send me a YouTube comment and I shall endeavour to take a crack at it. Also, if you have any requests not to do with the Technic Pack, please let me know. Check us out at garyandreevagaming.co.uk Catch you later.